I don't know, Eric, you want to kick it off? Well, Becky, thank you all for <laughs> joining us on this wonderful day. Um, you know, Saturday, what is it, May 2nd? Yes. So you're all safe. Uh, it'd be more fun to do this in person, but um, I do have a little show and tell. I oh. have two that I think were uh, appropriate uh, right now based on uh, the current pandemic and the fact that you can't find it anymore. So this is the uh, end of roll. End of roll. So, you know, I carved myself a toilet paper. <laughs> and this is the last roll. Oh. So. <laughs> is there a pattern for that? <laughs> kind of a right. I'm copy, sure I could come up with one if you'd like. <laughs> I do. <laughs> can uh, <laughs> you can try and put it on a roll if you wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> I, I bet you sat and studied that a lot, didn't you? Did you get my gifs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did put some thought on my throne together. You know. <laughs> So, you know, there, I'm hoping everybody's enjoying the uh, Facebook posts that I'm putting together. That's awesome, Eric. Those, yeah. are, those are really good. Very good. Um, Very good. I'm going to be in trouble if they actually, if the governor lets me run as long as I'm supposed to, because I'm going to have to carve a whole lot more to get through. <laughs> I had great Anybody aspirations else? of doing a trial bite a day, and that kind of fell through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do actually have a show and tell. It's, um, it's a project I've been working with with my daughter, and this is, we, we, we call it the Tarana Treehouse. So on the, the Tarana Treehouse. So, so she has, so we, we have uh, lots, of, lots of toys, but she doesn't play with dolls. And, and so we had bought this, this big dollhouse kit and it was plywood and everything. You know, just pop out the pieces and glue it together, sand it and all, all that. And it's miserable. It is the worst plywood ever. There's shards all over, like just trying to hold these pieces that I'm getting slivers everywhere. And the kid's getting slivers and then all the pieces are warped and twisted. And just like, this is not <laughs> worth my headache here. <laughs> So we decided we were going to design our own. Said, so what do you want? What kind of, of thing do you want? And she says, I want a tree house for my pteranodon. Okay, so like we drew it up. She, she drew some pictures and we made a pattern. Drafted it up. And so this is our terra tree house. Oh, what? Wow. Oh, wow. oh cool. so We have <laughs> braces on the bottom so it doesn't wiggle. And let's see, it's got a little balcony, balcony. doors. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a friend who was chopping down some trees and gave me a whole bunch of, of elm sticks that we were able to use for the balcony. Oh. Let's get a little brace under the balcony right here. And I have one chunk left. We just have to get the little platform for the tree house up in there. So, yeah. Really cool. Great job, Becky. Very good. Very good. <laughs> and she's thrilled because she gets to help. So I'm making her do like a ton of sanding. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, I suppose. And then the big thing behind me, this is a um, well, it's a, a screen that my my husband's mom got in. I'm gonna say it right now. I'll I'll stick a little box down at the bottom. <laughs> uh, I believe in in. Thailand? Thailand or Taiwan? I don't, I don't remember. Uh, it was where, wherever she was stationed and then she brought this home as one of her, her souvenirs. So we've been, I don't know, it's, it's had a lot of purposes over the years. Uh, the last eight years that we've been in, in this house, it's just been eight, nine, geez, ten years that we've been in this house. Time flies. Um, 
yes, room divider or hide the mess on the back end of the room while I do video conferences with kids and <laughs> it works. I have a show and tell too. I brought my comfort bird. <laughs> Not quite like the other ones, but some days it describes my mood pretty well. <laughs> but he's not very happy because he doesn't have any color yet. Oh. This was in the latest Wood Carving Illustrated magazine, if I remember yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. It, it looks like a putu. <laughs> a what? A putu. It's, it's a kind of bird. Look, look up a putu. They're really, really cool birds. They're frog mouthed and, and they've got really, really <laughs> wide mouths and they just look grumpy. This <laughs> is some kind of an owl. Or a hawk, I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's awesome. You can make it what you want, I guess. I <laughs> this describes my mood some days. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, you're wrong. Oh, now, Dale, you too, I bet you. <laughs> well, I, I have a show and tell. I, I think Dale posted this on on the Flicker Tail uh, Facebook page, but I just did a mountain lion. Uh, yeah. I can't yeah. know if you can see this or not. Yeah. But yeah, I just did this mountain lion uh, about a week and a half ago, I got it painted. And it's taken me about all winter to do this thing. Um, I just, I saw a nice picture on the internet that, of a mountain lion walking up a tree and I thought, oh, that's really cool. I'm going to try and carve that. I've had this cut out downstairs, been on my workbench for a while. And then when we went into lockdown, I just decided, you know, I'm going to spend a lot of time in the house. I might as well get something done. So this, this, is, this is my result right here. And um, it's all one, one chunk of wood. It's all one piece of, you know, the cat and the log are all one piece. I, I hate to wow. try and carve something and put it on a put it on a base. It's you know unless it's a flat base. So, so I just decided to do this. I've been wanting to, I don't think I've ever carved a mountain lion. I've carved other cats but never a lion. So I just decided to do this this time and so that's that's my result. Oh that's beautiful. Well thank you. And, Incredible. and then I I dug out a I dug out a rough out. Uh, Desiree Haney was here a number of years ago, and this rough out been sitting down in my in my to do work, you know, my cabinet down there for a long time. So, I mean, and I think a lot of you guys have done this before, maybe in her class. Yeah. But um, I'm working on it. I got the head pretty much done, and you know, starting to get some detail on it. But this is a box twisted around, and. It, I like rough outs because you can get to the detail right away. You don't have to mess around so much with roughing it out. So, so anyway, I'm working on that. I'll get that painted probably and carved. You know, I need to get the texturing done, but now I'm starting to work in my garden. I've got things planted in my garden and outside and stuff like that. So I don't know if I'll be carving quite as much, but I was worked on this some last night after dark. So mm -hmm. and that's, that's my show and tell. <laughs> well, that's cool. Oh, that looks cool. <clears throat> Bob, I'll post your... When I was down in Texas, I finished up a uh, bark carving house. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah. When I started, uh, well, not this one, but uh, a year ago in Fargo, they had the class, and... Uh, Rick Jensen uh, gave us actually three of them in the round that we could work on. So uh, this is my second one that uh, I did. I don't know if you can see that. Nice. The other thing I did down in Texas, I started uh, <coughs> the cutout of the, the cowboy that uh, from Dale Green's class that uh, the participants bought for me. I finished that and when I got back home and painted it, so that's what that one looks like. Very nice. Show me the shoelaces. <laughs> Can you show me the shoelaces? 
no, that's down down the basement. It's being painted. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, on, over uh, the a couple of years ago, one of my borrowers asked me to do a cardinal portrait, <clears throat> and so that's kind of what I've been doing. I did two cardinals uh, during the time and carved a stump here. That's just one piece of wood, and then did a cardinal. Just finished him here the day, so I did two of them now. And Very nice, there. Ron. Very nice. So. Warren, could I see it one more time? Yes. Could you hold it up? And can you say something so it comes big screen for me? I'm just taking a snapshot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I started it probably in November or something. And usually when I do a project, I usually do two two things at one time. So I thought, well, if he's gonna, if I'm gonna do one for him. I'm gonna do one for myself also. And so the other one I've got put on a, a piece of uh, Badland cedar. And then this stump here is what I just a piece of basswood carved out of, or a, a stump carved out of basswood. So. I can, uh, I can show some stuff if you don't mind. First of all, let's see, can you read this? Bob Lawrence sent out a note, if we want tools that we can look on the OCC website and then give him a call and order stuff. I did, uh, he did send me a note, it's occtools.com. Yes. So that's where you'll want to go. And then a reminder that today's webinar virtual meeting is brought to you by Tucker Tail Woodcarvers. <laughs> a couple things I've been working on. Oh, so if you can see this, it's a, like a deep water paddle. It's a oh. Canadian old style. And while it's not a whole lot of difficult carving, it's draw knife work. And, and it was lots of fun. And then for the show, um, when last year when we did our chainsaw carving class, I roughed out a bowl and then <coughs> offered to have it for the October show. So this is the finished product. No. Oh. Just finished this last weekend. So I let it dry. I carved it last fall, let it dry, and then finished it. And then for our Knives of March, I carved out a couple eagle feathers. Yeah. So uh, this was, this is like Bob Lawrence's class with a 12 inch long eagle feather on steroids with chainsaw. I thought, well, that's kind of cool, but uh, how, can, how can I adapt that? So I carved out a uh, hawk. So this is, this is the Sioux fighting hawk hidden in larger chainsaw carved eagle. So just change the head a little bit and it turns into a hawk. And then, let's see, for, you know, this is the wood carving group. So what can we do that's a little different? Eric, for you, next time we catch up, and, and it's not open yet, it's a little early in the morning, check this out. Alaskan spruce IPA, made with real spruce tree tips. <laughs> So oh, Eric, you're gonna love that. That's what I have. Thanks, Dale. <laughs> well, I don't have anything for show and tell. I just came to see what you're all doing. Yeah, the only thing we I have a I have a cat cozy that uh, a cousin crocheted for me. <laughs> but that's about it. I did enjoy how your cats go up when uh, Bob had his mountain lion up. Just looking for some attention. <laughs> you know, while, while we're on, uh, all on here, I'm gonna remind people that we still are planning the library display August 1st. And Warren and I have looked at some, we got some graphics from that wood carving museum in um, Iowa and picked out some I think they sent us 15 pages, but we picked out a few that looked like they would be appropriate. We wouldn't want to use all of them in that little library display, but we can make posters and they're really nice. Uh, you know, we don't have to think about, you know, how to, how to describe the spoon display. 
but we haven't gone in to talk to the lady at the library. They closed, you know, and so we haven't been in, able to go in and talk with her. But when they open, you know, Warren's looked at the sheets and he has some ideas on which ones would be appropriate. And I do, so we'll go in and talk to the library lady, but keep carving spoons. We're, you know, we still need, still need spoons and, you know, all the, the natural hardwood ones that you're carving are wonderful, but also decorative spoons too. Any chip carving, acanthus carving, um, you know, uh, relief carving, anything on spoons that you're, you know, we, we can use them all. See, then I can get my trial by today in. What if I do a Cambrian spoon? <laughs> mm. um, I probably ought to remind people too that uh, uh, what um, Becky is is needing um, uh, carvings for the annual show. She doesn't need them done. She just needs people to tell her what they'd be. I would imagine she's going to be getting the uh, raffle tickets printed pretty soon. Yeah, I think she wants to know what what people want to. Yes, yeah. knows what to put on the. I'll make a pitch. He's carving uh, memory hearts. There's lots of those. Yes. So Eric, our first time together, maybe in June at Sertoma, right? That's my gut feeling. Yeah. Granted, we could probably do this again if everybody enjoyed it, and if everybody's interested. I was hoping to see some of our Canadian friends and some of our. No. Uh, friends from you know, Fargo and uh, Colorado show up, but it seems like it's the main group. Of course, with this whole thing, everybody schedules out of whack. <laughs> That's the big thing that I've known. <laughs> you know, is, yeah, I, I used to wake up at 5.30. Now it's 7.00. <laughs> <laughs> makes no sense to me. <laughs> yeah, there, and there's no get... there's no reason not to meet in the summertime. We can, you know, if we can keep our distance from one another. That park is just great for that. Yep. And you know, Doug, uh, Doug came out and we visited on my porch last week and um, had tea and coffee out on the porch. And Karen and I and Doug sat out there in the sun and just had a nice conversation. And you know, it, it, it's, it's good for the soul to do that, to actually have some contact with people. And we, we really enjoyed our visit with Doug. But there's no reason not to meet, I don't think, in the summer. We could sure, I mean, that's a big park. We can bring our own tables and carvings and carve separately if we still have to, so. And I, th I think with the, the park, I think that, that, you know, it wouldn't be that hard to space ourselves apart a little bit. You know, so it would, and it would be nice to see each other. Yep. Maybe instead of a potluck, have it a brown bag. Mm. That'd be a good idea. That'd be yeah. nice. Okay. Long line of getting together. I'm at home today in Bismarck. And if anybody wants to change that car, <laughs> I got saws. I'm picking rocks today. <laughs> I'd rather be cutting wood. Uh. <laughs> You know, and, and chainsaw carving, there's another benefit. It's it's smoking and not getting the coronavirus is still not proven. But with chainsaws, it definitely, if you not electric, but if you have a two-stroke chainsaw, that the the emissions are, are, you know, not all that good for you. But they're also not good for coronavirus. And to date, there has not been, that I know of, a corona case from a chainsaw carver. <laughs> I don't know many chronic cases. <laughs> You're really reaching today there. Really? Oh my. Well, I'm, I'm always selling chainsaw carving. <laughs> you love it. You don't get sick. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a case of Corona, but I didn't drink it with lime. I woke up with a headache. <laughs> Yeah, people, people like this format, or maybe not like this format, but how about tolerate this format? <laughs> we could always do uh, our, our later whittling for May and just everybody 
bring a carving project and just set up your, your webcam or your camera next to whatever you're carving. And even if it's not a guided thing, like work on spoons, work on hearts and just sit and chat. Sure. That'd be. Mm -hmm. I say yes. Yeah, that'd be all right. So are you thinking then that we're not going to have the, the 18th or the 18th, I think, the, the meeting in, in later in May? Third Tuesday is the 19th. May 19th. May 19th. Mm -hmm. I was once supposed to have the project. I really don't have any project because I've been working on other stuff. But I would like to do if we do if we do get together if we do have a project, I'd like to do that. If Becky would have that, uh, I don't remember if it was you, Becky, or Becky uh, Leisgerber, if she had the uh, the jackalope. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I passed out a couple of the jackalope carvings um, when I was yeah, originally I scheduled to on the back of my car. <laughs> like here, drive. drive I'm sorry I didn't get there. I wanted to get there and get one. Oh. I, I still have a box of blanks, but I would need to cut out a few more. But um, if you, after this, if you want to like email me your address or something, I can just drive by a blank. <laughs> <laughs> by blanks. <laughs> I'd like to get one of those sometime. Try try one of those out, but you don't have to drive all the way out here to pay. You know, I can I can get it some other time. <laughs> I would suggest that one if you if we're gonna pro, if we're gonna do a project for me. Like I said, I'm not I'm not prepared for anything like like that. But you know, since you got some blanks cut out, you know, I'd recommend that. You know, I'd love to do that project. Projects like that we we were talking about. Take your own little project and just carve if you wanted to do that. Just yeah on your own <laughs> nice eric nice <laughs> um if we if we did that we could probably meet it at the church as long as they have their tables and stuff set up i don't know if they do yet you're talking outside outside no i mean you know in their their uh uh for the breakfast they used have tables set up where we usually work yeah but we could work there i mean it's spread out enough i think see mine's done i don't know why you guys are so fascinated oh, 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 oh. it's only half done eric it's only half done well why do i need anything more than a head and shoulder mount <laughs> See, if you have a room on the other side of there, you carve the other half and you stick it on the other side of the wall. <laughs> so what, what do, Eric, do you want to lock into whether we do virtual or, or something? Or the vote. May meeting? As president. <laughs> At this point, um, I'm taking it as a kind of a wait and see. I know Becky is getting the same briefings that I am on a on a regular basis. So I don't know that it would be. I don't want to jump the gun. Okay. I I would tend yeah. to say once the yeah. capital is open for tours and once schools are okay with letting kids back in, yeah, then okay. Um, but otherwise, I mean, there, there's a ton of pictures going over the internet right now. As far as <coughs> any of you are Star Trek fans, the first people that are running out right now are the red shirts. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so I personally would like to play it safe just because I've got my kid and my family and everything. And, and I'm perfectly okay with doing everything distance or in my backyard and you know bring bring a lawn chair and everybody spread out that's that's fine but close quarters where there's a lot of surfaces where a lot of people are touching them i'm yeah. just i'm a little leery with it we are not over our peak yet and we're opening the doors we, we could take our lawn chairs to the capitol and carve protest signs <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could take it and carve counter protest signs. Yeah. <laughs> protest opening up, I think, is where Bob was leading. <laughs> they don't want to.
to open. No. But you know, <coughs> huh? we go out there and there's everybody's out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, there, I'd like to see you all physically, not virtually, um, but at the same time, I want to make sure we're all healthy. Uh, so, like I said, I'm really leaning on holding a wait and see where this. Okay. So probably a virtual carving, whittling? The nice part about the virtual stuff is, you know, we could turn around and almost nobody's going anywhere to speak of. So we could do this at four o'clock in the afternoon if you guys wanted to on a Tuesday. Yeah, so. Yeah, if you don't, if you're not homeschooling. <laughs> right, you know. I'm throwing that time out there just as a time. Br bring your daughter to virtual home carving. <laughs> well, I have introduced shop class for her. So I was taking, we were, we've been having to send lots of pictures into her teachers to prove her attendance and, and she's doing stuff so we've got math and we've got social studies and we have reading and we have all of this other stuff and so she would just burn through everything it's like that's it we're instituting shop class and that's why that's why we started this thing it's um, man. shop class <laughs> and so we're teaching her her correct tool usage and doing little little uh, educational videos that she's doing and so she'll do demonstrations for this is a clamp you use a clamp to hold pieces of wood together it's awesome. Oh, good. Oh, I bet that's fun. She's having fun. Clara's on. Hi, Clara. Hi. Can't see you, but I can hear you. Can you hear me? We can hear yeah. you. Oh, my gosh. I've never <laughs> tried this Zoom before, and I didn't even know you could hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Clara. Good to hear you. Well, my goodness, you guys. This is awesome. I love this. Whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. Hey. Yay. There she is. Oh, my Clara, goodness. we see you. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hi, guys. <laughs> Boy, is this something new for me. Oi, oi, oi. I just, believe me, I spent half an hour trying to get on this thing. My hair is just as bad, Clara. Probably worse. <laughs> oh, we're always we're always told that uh, you know about uh, people getting in, in stealing stuff, you know, through the internet and stuff like that. How secure when you do something like this? How secure is it? Uh, the way that I set this one up, where I only send the link out via email, um, only the people who have this link can get on here. Okay. We can also set it up so that there's a password so that you would have to in, you know, input the password as well. But that's, that's why I did not put this up on Facebook because then anybody could hop on. Oh, so that's, that's why it was only sent through email. Okay. It was very, it was very oh, good easy. Good job, Becky. Yeah. Good, good. Claire, you need Ron's IT services to help. <laughs> <laughs> Ron's and Darlene over there. <laughs> How many people are on? Kind of Have any of you uh, participated in that Wood Carving Illustrated? I saw someplace, I don't remember with the newsletter or somebody's email that they said that uh, Wood Carving Illustrated has a weekly. Um, yeah. Um, last, you know, Wednesday, at noon, I, like Wednesday at noon, I think it said. Has, has anybody participated in that at all? I don't know. I got it off of Eric's email. Yeah. I put it on the thing, and Eric had it first. Yeah. They're doing carvings at noon, and I think they're doing it by YouTube. Um, <laughs> you can watch them on YouTube. I know that, I believe it's Wednesday, North House Folk School, starting at 10 o'clock is doing coal rosing, talking about coal rosing, I want to say from 10 to noon, you know. For me, I got a real job that Eric me to do something, so I can't yeah. quite watch that the whole time. But, and you know, there's 
everybody's trying to do something to keep everybody everybody engaged so you know, if you see something that's cool out there or that's keeping you sane um shoot me an email and i'll send it to the group i you know every day at three o'clock eastern two o'clock uh central uh the organist for the boston red sox plays take me out to the ball game okay on facebook and it's seventh dash inning stretch or seventh inning dash stretch something like that and you can watch the pre-recorded or the yesterday's or been doing it for like 37 days now uh, today's a kitchen sink day, so it'll run about two hours. He's just cleaning. <coughs> um, I've been watching once a week. John Krasinski is doing a YouTube show called Some Good News, where he just takes the, you know, people helping people. His second episode <laughs> had uh, a girl on there who had tickets to Hamilton. And he did a Zoom call with everybody from Hamilton staff singing the same song with her. So, I mean, there's everybody's doing something. If you find something, shoot it to me. Let the rest of the group know because there's things going on that are absolutely, you might not, you may think it's interesting, you may think it's worth it. And, uh, baseball thing you request a song and he'll play it he'll play a couple of bars of it so uh, so there's plenty to do out there to try and keep you sane some of this is them trying to keep them sane and it's like me with the uh, carvings i'm trying to keep myself sane how's that going eric i don't know <laughs> we'll keep Nobody's an eye on you Come in to test me. <laughs> nice background, Dale. <laughs> yes, you know, okay, if you switch to a virtual background, it works for some people. I don't like it. What it does is it clips all my random hair and it makes it look like I have normal hair. And so that's why Bob and I are. Crap, so. <laughs> <laughs> does our sign on stay the same? No, so that, that'll be different each time uh, just for security so that we don't have a random code wandering around that anybody can click onto. So oh. I will send out another email with a different code so that it just keeps it safer. That way we don't have random people jumping on and doing pole dancing or something in the middle or, you know, maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll vote. I'll vote for pole dancing. <laughs> <laughs> that would be different anyway. <laughs> well, it's good to have a few laughs and get together. It's been a long time. Kind of miss this. This is nice. I never expected this. Um, somebody said something about the tools for Bob, Bob Loris. Um, is there a deadline? Is he trying to sell them um, at any particular time, or is he? Is it pretty much the um, the announcement he sent out had an end date on it, but it was really rather recent. I think it's like May fourth. May ninth. May okay, May ninth. May ninth. Okay. So um, uh, I would bet he would go further, but I don't know. Okay. I suppose I suppose a guy could always give Bob a call and ask him, you know, if, when the deadline is. That'd be probably easiest. Are we considering this a meeting? Do we need, do I need to have a uh, have a um, oh. treasurer's report or anything like that? Uh, I, do we need to have Do I need to have that? Do, <coughs> do you need to know a number or anything like that for treasurer report? If you, have, if you have a number, I'll write it down. Well, that's what I'm wondering about. Are, are you going to be minutes for minutes purposes? Do you need? Do you yeah, need? I'm gonna I'm gonna write this up. I hey, vote we you, consider this a meeting. If you are, if you are, if you are going to write something down, and if you need a report, we have in the treasurer's a treasurer's account right now. Okay. Six thousand three hundred forty-one dollars. What we have right now, 
and as far as I know, there's only one bill that I that is outstanding, and that would be the rent for uh, for the um, for the church. But I'm waiting. I usually pay it in every I pay it semi annual because I pay it January through May, and I'll have to go down there and give them a give them a check since we're missing four or five meetings, it's going to be different than it was last year, for example. So that's really the only bill that I know of that I haven't paid for yet. Okay. And, and Doug, I did send that check over to, for the banquet. I gave him the bill. So. Okay, thanks. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> thanks, Karen. And for the, for the secretaries, for the secretaries, We've covered almost everything. The only thing that was different was that Bob Pedigo had done an audit in, in, and reported that in March that all the books tallied. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> Warren, did you get the account information to the North Dakota Co Council on the Arts? I didn't send them anything. I just sent uh, you all the information. That, um, do they need No, something? they're looking to do a direct deposit for our grant check. Yeah. I didn't send them anything. I sent, sent all that information to you. Was I supposed to send it to them? I can. They just, they just want uh, to do direct deposit. So I'll, I'll get with you in an email and we'll... Okay. <clears throat> Yeah. Straighten it up because they're they're not printing checks. They want to just do direct deposit because well printing checks. That so. was part of the uh, I sent you some quite a few different things that was in that packet, one of those packets there. So okay. all we'd have to do is we would just have to forward to them, I suppose. Yep. I'll uh, I'll dig through that information. Okay. I got our grant funding request for May 15th um, is when I'm looking for the funds. And then I submitted the grant this week for the 2021 grant season. So if you need, if you need me to send them something though, just let me know. Yep. Okay. I'll uh, look to see what you sent me because I was working on nothing but that the last yeah. two weekends. So I'm really looking forward to going to the farm and walking through a building looking for something that I absolutely don't need. Oh wait, I need a garden hall for my garden, so. Yeah, you've been working on Anybody it. else have any, any business that we need to cover? No, so if, if we're okay with doing the online carving for the 19th, then uh, I will see about getting some more jackalope blanks cut out and distributed. So actually what would help me is if you, you let me know if you want the jackalope buck with the antlers or if you want the doe with no antlers. <laughs> so then I have a number count. I would take, I would take one of the bucks, antelope buck. I got a question for you guys. Uh, I haven't made arrangements for the noon meals for our fall show yet. Uh, do we want to do what we did two years ago and cater some food in from, I think it was Super Valley or Dan's? Is that correct, uh, Bob? Yeah, that, that is correct. It was the North Dan's up by the interstate. Or do we want to go with someone else or go with uh, the company, a uh, catering company over in Mandan that we had this last year. Hmm. Harvest was the one that did the, the lunches, right? Pardon? Harvest Grill was the one that did yeah. the lunches. Correct. I like them. I, I really enjoyed meeting there for the, for the evening dinner. Yeah, that's, that's been arranged already. Not the details, just got it uh, reserved. Uh, if we go with Harvest uh, Restaurant over there, they're catering, I'm guessing it's going to be a little, like a dollar or two more than if we went with uh, Dan's. 
if that makes a difference to anybody. If I remember right, soup and sandwiches with Dan's and Harvest was just a sandwich and chips, correct? No. Uh, Saturday we had the, the buffet there. Uh, the reason we had to go with the sack lunch on Sunday because they don't cater on Sundays, they could bring it into the cafe there and then distribute a sack lunch. Uh, if it wouldn't have been a Sunday, they, we could have had two different types of uh, catered type of meals like that. Okay. You know, we but could, I, I, I like the hot lunch. Again. Yeah, I like the hot lunch better, the soup and the sandwiches and stuff from Dan's on sunday but we could do one one group on one day and one on the next we didn't, wouldn't have to do each one for two days yeah well that might be a little bit more complicated though i don't know well the dan's was for sure, sure easy i know that so you know they just and it would just be called them and they came with everything they had plates bowls you know serving utensils and the whole works napkins the whole Whole shooting match, and I think the Harvest Grill was pretty easy too, yeah. but just a matter of contacting two folks. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably run into the same situation on Sunday with uh, the Harvest. Uh, it, we probably have to go with some type of a snack lunch that they deliver. So maybe we should go with Dan's. We've got a little better options for Sunday then. Yeah. Okay. I heard a lot of good comments on both of them, so I don't think it's uh, that's an issue. If it's okay with everybody, I I think I'm leaning towards going back to Dan's. Sounds good to me. That sounds fine. Okay. <laughs> the enrollment for Vic Hood's um, class that'll come out in July, sometime June, July. First of July. Okay, sometime. Well, I think I'm going to hang up, guys. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's time. Okay. Oh. Hey, thank you. Thank you, oh, thank you Becky. Meeting. Cheers. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Becky. Happy carving. You nice put posted on Tuesday, on Tuesday night, then Becky. Then. Yep. Yep. I'll I'll post that. Um, just I guess I'll keep it the the evening. Um, yeah. That'd and just be fine. Start it up at seven or so, because then. We're done feeding the bottomless pit here and <laughs> makes it easier. <laughs> <laughs>